So, hey, all right, here we go. I got Capriati. Hey, Sean. How's it going, Dave? Hope I'm you don't doing very good. Ah, I don't mind the gloves. So this is uh, this is my friend Sean Seagroves. He is uh, he's from Capriati's Sandwich Shop. And so, sir, what have you got for me? So uh, I was thinking as we were talking about uh, about this segment, one of the things I thought is right. So we're about halfway through summer. Parents are probably kind of tired of kids, you know, having the same oh mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, hot dogs. Right. A, it's you know a lot of processed stuff. Right. This B, it's just not good. super healthy. And C, you're not getting any ve veggies or any kind of good stuff in there. So one of the things that we actually do with my son that he really likes, I've got one down for you already. We'll yeah. call this the Dave. Um, <laughs> but that my son likes um, is so what we do is we make grilled cheese, but mm -hmm. first of all, I don't use butter. I use olive oil. I got this cool little diffuser I got on Amazon for 10 bucks, right? Yeah. So you don't use butter, you don't use mayo, you spray it. It's a little so it gets on there. That's what gets your bread, which gets your bread toasted. Love it. Then we're gonna go with a slice of Swiss cheese on the bottom. That's my jam. All right, then we're gonna take some of our shredded turkey. So one of the things that people like about us, and you can see our sandwich here, the Bobby right there is, mm. which is roast turkey, cranberry sauce, and stuffing is, <laughs> so, so we- Thanksgiving on a bun. Right, so we roast whole turkeys overnight. So it's not that loaf processed, you know, stuff. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's just it turkey and that's it. And then I'll add some sweet peppers on here, kind of hide it from him, <laughs> right? Because he has no idea that right, he's eating good stuff. Because heaven forbid he eats something healthy. We're going to flip this one because it's getting kind of on the side. Then I'll take another slice of turkey and we'll put that on. Yeah. And we'll take the final slice and then and it, just do it over the pan because if you get a little bit on the pan, who cares, right? Yeah, right. No big deal. So. We'll do that. We'll slip that on there. And so you can see how it's starting to get a little brown there. And that's just from the olive oil. It's right. nothing else. Just that up. Uh, so then another option we got, which uh, you were pretty excited about. So hopefully <laughs> this will be done in the next you know, minute or so so you can yeah. try it out. Is, you know, we've actually, so I did, uh, I did provolone cheese. I did some really finely diced black olives. I did some tomatoes and I did some uh, ham. So, you know, you've got some different options depending on what your kids like or what you think you can disguise the best. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and there's, I've, I've got five kids, so over the years I've gotten really good at disguising stuff. Right. Right, I'll put like frozen peas and like uh, mac and cheese. Oh, so right. at least even if they're mac and cheese, you've got a little frozen peas right. in there. Yeah. Um, or the, the frozen mixed vegetables are really good. Like I do that in a lot of stuff and they're frozen, so you can just throw them right in there. Right. Um, so there's That's lots genius. of, there's lots of creative ways to do that. We're gonna we're gonna flip this guy here. So hey, what makes what makes Capriati so unique, right? You guys are pretty different. We are we are. Um, so we talked about the roast turkey. We just it's just more premium ingredients. I tell the difference. I tell everybody when they ask me because they're not familiar with Capriati's here. Um, is um, the, the difference between us and our competition is like the difference between you know McDonald's and Five Guys, right? Is we use premium ingredients. So talked about the roast turkey and the bobby you're not going to find that anywhere else so this is our it's our wagyu slubby joe so it's wagyu yeah. roast beef so it's not just you know regular plain old roast beef uh -huh. um, we've got the whole our homemade coleslaw which we're going to make in a little bit yes too. we are you so, can put that on hot dogs everything right so then this is our italian um, so it's just yeah, premium italian. ingredients um, we also have wagyu cheesesteaks which are fantastic what? Um, so it's Wagyu roast beef and cheese. We've got a Wagyu That's French. That's the one that when you and I were talking, you're like, you need to come over and get right, that cheesesteak. Right, and we've got, so we've got a Wagyu French dip. So it's a, it's a French dip, grilled the Wagyu roast beef. Our pastrami is fantastic. Same deal, grilled pastrami, melted Swiss cheese. We put the slaw on it instead of, uh, it's kind of like a twist on a Reuben, right? Because a Reuben, you get the, the, um, the sauerkraut. sauerkraut. Yeah. So we go with the coleslaw instead, kind of a southern twist. Yeah, I like right? that. I would um, prefer the, claw, the slaw over the kraut. So yeah, you want to give this a shot? I feel like it's about ready. Yeah, let's do it. So that's the, and this is the provolone. Yeah, let me see what we got. I'm gonna let you try that one because I'm not a huge black olive guy. I love black olives. <laughs> right, and the olive oil makes a difference too, mm -hmm. right? You, so you don't get like that really. Uh, it's like cleaner. It's like right. Not as heavy as you like can taste more of the ingredients, mm -hmm. like the butter. If you use butter, or some people have started to use mayo on the grilled cheese, right? Well, it's a fat, so it does the same thing as butter. It just and it has a more rich flavor. But that you don't. It doesn't overpower the sandwich no, as much. You taste that. the ingredients no, do more. That. Don't do the mayonnaise. Don't do that. So yeah. So <laughs> the key to getting your kids to eat, I've found, is hide your vegetables. Right, Sawyer? Yeah. His son's over there watching the, watching the old man do his job. <laughs> yeah, hey buddy. Yeah, so you, you have, come here, come here, come here. Hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> hey Sawyer, so this is Sawyer, this is Sean's son. Here you go, have, have him. There you go. There you go. That's your stuff, man.
<laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. You like it. You eat it all the time. Look at him. He's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, See, even, it. even now it's a fight. <laughs> so, hey, where can, uh, where can folks uh, get a, like find you guys on, online and things like that? So, uh, capriotis.com is a website. Uh, you can also download the app, mobile order. Um, we're at 10025 San Jose Boulevard. If you know where the DMV or the Duval Tax Collector's Office is right there in Mandarin, just off of 295, we're just literally three doors down from them. So, it's in the same, the Crown Point Shopping Plaza. Um, so it's just a little north of 295 off of San Jose. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so very much. And yeah. Sean, so you guys got to go check out Capriati's. But for now, since we've got something to eat, we're going to need something to drink. So let's send it over to Eden where she's with a bartender.